I went into hospital for a tennis elbow op. And after having the op, they said to me, the neighbors want to see me. And he came to me and he said to me that, do I know that I've got a heart problem? So I said to him, no. I think the, the crux in atrial fibrillation is that it should be treated as early as possible. Ablation of atrial fibrillation is a relatively new procedure. It's probably been around for the last 10 to 15 years and certainly has revolutionized the treatment of atrial fibrillation for a number of reasons. Essentially, uh, the procedure is termed uh, to be a percutaneous one, so we do it from the outside through the skin. Uh, like many cardiac procedures, uh, we get access to the heart via the groin. Patients who are highly symptomatic, who have structurally normal hearts, uh, who have tried antiarrhythmic therapy and where these drugs have been contraindicated or poorly tolerated or where these drugs have failed are all very suitable candidates for atrial fibrillation ablation. From the recovery point of view, most people are back at work within a few days, uh, I would say, let's say on average a week, but it can take uh, a few days before the bruising of the legs settle. Sometimes patients have a bit of chest discomfort, cough, breathlessness. And these are all part and parcel of the healing process after the procedure. It's not unusual, you know, but I, it's very seldom that these would persist and uh, within a week or two, people are completely back to their normal selves and enjoying a, a palpitation-free existence.